Welcome to part two of the Outlook viewing browser pain in the rear issue in which I will show you how to replace that feature with your own one that works as it should do using the browser of your choice. Now there are two tools provided and I will take you through both the replacement viewing browser function and the viewers PDF function. I've already provided a link to the file in the description below. All you have to do is download and import it into Outlook. I will take you through the lines of code you will need to tweak and this includes setting up the area in your computer where the code places the temporary files. Once the code is done we'll add the buttons to the ribbon and these can be placed into two convenient places. Lastly I'll take you through the procedure that clears the temporary folder and we can even assign this so it clears when we close Outlook. So the file is called bassviewfunctions.bas and it's just a text file so you can import it or copy and paste all the code into an existing module if you prefer. If you want you can open it in notepad and check it first. Once the content is in take a look at the module everything you need is in there but it just needs you to tweak uh, a little few bits of code to meet your environment. Now I do make a habit of adding lots of comments in my code so there is plenty of tips and guidance to the statements for you. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just going to install or import that module into my code window uh, and then I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how it works and how it runs. So first of all, let's go to Alt F11, the lazy way of bringing up your Visual Basic editor. There you go, there's my VBE. I will go the code in. Okay, it doesn't matter though. So I'm just going to import it as you do. File menu, import file. This is where I've downloaded it to. Just going to um, select that bass view function and open it up. Now pull it in. It's all in one module, so you can go in there and play with this to your heart's content. Okay. Now before I go any further, let's show you a quick summary of how this all works. So when I go to Outlook, I've got a few uh, HTML based messages here that I can play around with. I'm going to choose the Fitbit because as you can see, I've not pulled in any of the pictures yet. At the top there, in the um, preview pane, I've got the commands that I want to open these up in the browser or PDF. But I've also set these up, so if I double click, I've set these up so they're actually sitting inside the message window as well. So I can conveniently run these tools however I choose to work with my messages. If I click the view in browser, this brings up a prompt. Are you sure? You can customize that message. You can even turn it off if you don't want it anymore. You could replace that with a VBA form and that will allow you to put a tick box in so that the message comes up and then they can tick it that says don't tell me again. And you can sort of store a little variable in the registry that remembers whether they've prompted that or not. So lots of things we could do with that. If I click yes, this will continue the process. If I click no or cancel, and I've put cancel in there just in case anyone panics, doesn't understand what the message means, and just hits escape or cancel, it does the same thing as no. But yes, we'll just continue the message. Opens the browser, but this is opening in Google Chrome. So it's doing exactly what I want. It's opening in the browser that I choose. Fantastic. Now if I open up my location, where the temporary files are stored. There they are. Okay, so I've got this in the Outlook temp. What's great about this is I've got it set up so whoever logs in is picking up the path of their user profile and then putting the temporary folder in their location. Now, the difference is, unlike Outlook, where the viewing browser, as soon as you close the message down, it deleted the message, and some people found that annoying because they might want to keep it for later and maybe sort of forward it, put it in an archive, print it, whatever which meant you had to generate it again and again. This one keeps it. So if I close the browser down, you can see the files are still there. What I've set up instead is a button where I can clear the message folder when I want to. I can even set it up so that when Outlook exits, it will clear those files. It's a nice simple little process. If I click this button here, show how it works, those files disappear. Brilliant. How does the PDF one work? 
same sort of principle does it actually off nick the code it's exactly the same code but within an extension it, it takes the web page opens up Microsoft Word so you have to have Word installed and then uses that to convert it to a PDF so it takes a little bit longer and if you haven't opened Word it might take a little bit longer than that but once it's done it opens up and I've now got this as a PDF and I can print it I can save it I can archive it I can do whatever I want knowing that that is actually a PDF and within that PDF even the hyperlinks still work as well so that people can use this to continue with live message content fantastic okay how does it work let's go back to the code window so I'm not going to go through the entire code what I've done is I've added comments um, to the end or the above blocks of statements to just describe how it works uh, I'm just going to trim through some of the quick things the most important bit is these constants at the top have been stored here because these are the important ones that need to be tweaked before you run it okay so you need to specify the folder name of your choice you can leave that alone if you like because that will still work but you do need to provide the path to where your browsers are so I've got all three browsers Chrome uh, Microsoft Edge and Firefox stored as constants and the idea then is I can go down here anytime I want and I can switch between the browsers I want to use just by changing the name here to one of these that's up here you could tweak this code so that it asks which browser do you want to use and it will then use so there's so many things and because I've set it up this way it just makes it a little bit more adaptable so this now goes and grabs all of the illegal characters that can't be used for file names like commas and then replaces them with whatever character you want I've got it replacing with underscores for some things and I've got it replacing it with hyphens for other things you can go into this block and you can a add other additional illegal files you've encountered and B replace them with whatever characters you want you just replace what's illegal and what you want to replace it with and there's two different statements on the rows there just to sort of save some space and there you go now the other thing is the view as PDF is pretty much the same except there's an extra block at the bottom that opens word converts it to PDF and again I've got comments in there to do all that lovely work so you can tweak the bits at the top there's not much to tweak uh, so in all accounts this should work perfectly fine if you don't have word or if you don't want to use the to keep the viewers PDF you can highlight that entire block of code from the sub to the end sub and delete it and just keep what you do want to keep but all the other bits and bobs that are in there are important so you've got the function that goes and gets the message and the other one that goes and clears the temporary folder okay and these all call and rely upon the things that matter which is your location settings and they're all done at the top there okay so have fun with that code and rip it apart convert it tweak it as you want job done now how do we get those buttons in there in case you haven't done it before or you haven't done it in Outlook very 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 straightforward what you do is you right click anywhere in the ribbon anywhere you like and you customize the ribbon what you need to do first of all is go into one of these existing tabs so I have, I've used the home tab as you can see there and what you'll see is I've got my own group called messages so I've just placed my cursor on the home tab I've clicked new group and then once you've done that you just click on that new group that's appeared and rename it call it whatever you like so I'm call that new mess just for the sake of showing you the process bang okay and then what you do is you go to the left hand panel and you click the drop down box and say I'm looking for all my macros okay and there are the three macros the clear temp folder viewers PDF view and browser and what you do is select them one by one click the group where you want them to appear i.e. here and then you click add okay and for each one you put in you click it in blue you rename it and give it a nice easy English readable name or whatever way you want to name it so that one's going to be view in browser and then pick an icon best associated with that action so please don't pick smiley faces they don't mean the thing um, so I picked in this example I picked that little icon there because it's got the web lingo logo on it it's the best thing I could find actually and there you go 
and that's it and you repeat that for all the other buttons including the clear temp folder uh, and okay now I did that from the Outlook main window so here's the trick if you want to be able to run those commands from uh, a window that displays the message specifically you just double click the message so it appears in its own window and you repeat the process again you just right click anywhere in the ribbon customize the ribbon and then you set up and again I've got this in the message tab because it's the most appropriate it's the default tab that appears so I've got it conveniently sitting with a new group again that I've customized and I've gone and grabbed those macro commands and placed them in there so I put the viewing browser and the PDF in the message window I've not put the clear temp because I only want them to clear the temporary folder from the main Outlook window there you go and that clears the temporary files okay now the clearing temporary files is quite key you can see I've actually as over time that will start to clutter up so when I click that clear temporary messages as you saw that clears that location down what you can also do if I go back into my code alt f11 if you go into the this outlook session and double click it so that will just select but also activate the module I then go into the application object and it will pop up with its default event procedure which is item send I ignore that you're going to click on this drop down box on the right and there should be a quit and then what I do is I go into and double click on the bass view functions you'll see there's a name of a function down here called clear temp folder and I want to call that fault that function so I'm going to copy it rather than type it it's much easier I want to call that when the application quits to do that you go to this outlook session where the application you've just done to double click it again and you can either type as I'm lazy I've just pasted it in there now that means as soon as I close outlook down that procedure will run like it did from the button you could also do something like this dim answer as long and answer is just basically a variable that's stored where it's going to capture whether we click yes or no on a question so the mess the actual answer would be answer equal message box I'm just being lazy MSGB control spacebar but you're returning the value so you've got to put it in brackets and put in there do you want to clear the temporary message folder question mark put that in double quotes so that's the prompt that they see comma and then you choose what buttons you want so I'm going to put in VB yes no and cancel don't forget some people might panic um, if you're providing it to them <coughs> and they won't know what that question means so they'll just click cancel plus I'm just going to put in a VB question icon that appears on the left comma and then put in there clear message folder there you go close brackets so that's now capturing what button I click on and then I put underneath that if answer is not yes then exit sub so that will basically if you didn't click yes just stop if they did click yes then it goes and clears the folder so so much you can do with this uh, and improve it and make it meet to where you work and you can then take that code and then pass it to other people um, who have a similar need for that viewing browser hey. I hope these functions prove useful if so please let me know and add some comments please subscribe to my channel so I can keep you posted with updates to Office 365 Teams all the likes and I can also respond to any questions that you have about my videos and anything you'd like me to cover you can contact me on Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn there's also an email address so we have you covered in many ways stay safe and have fun